I am making a flight combat game with paper airplanes, but every game needs a steam page, right? So in this video, we are going to make one. Alright, here's the plan for the steam page. We need a trailer, 5 screenshots and an eye-catching image with a crazy explosion to link to the page. Now, the explosion isn't technically required. I did check with steam, but we are going for it anyway. Let's get started. First up, we need a trailer. Here's the plan. I want a mix of gameplay and cinematic scenes. It will be a short battle between the white paper airplanes, the player controlled ones and the red paper airplanes, which, uh, well, uh, aren't player controlled so they're obviously the bad guys. I made them red just to make it super clear. Anyway, I can't really show the gameplay right now because I don't have a heads up display and the plane is looking a bit too stiff. So it doesn't really feel uh, paper like, which is pretty important for a paper airplane. <laughs> But let's take it one step at a time, starting with the HUD. Here's my initial design, speed and altitude in the center, and on the bottom right, info about weapons and plane health. We've got the number of gun bullets, the standard missiles left, and the four air-to-air -air missiles that uh, we don't actually have yet. So instead, I'll show you a video of cute dolphins, then we've got the damage to the plane and the flares. Yeah, I don't have those either. Anyway, enough talking about the HUD, let's make it work. I wired it all up and uh, the altitude reading is uh, totally wrong, but hey, we are flying at 2000, whatever this means. Alright, I fixed it, now altitude is in meters and speed is in kilometers per hour. The plane currently maxes out at 72, if you're wondering how fast 72 km per hour is, it's about as fast as a car, if the car were driven by a deer. I hope that helps. I also added a bit of glow to the HUD to make it more readable, but enough about the HUD, let's make the plane less stiff. I'm going to add a wind effect to make it feel more like a real paper airplane, so here's my first attempt, which can only be described as the ghost of the paper airplane. Yeah, um, something went really wrong. Um, I tried fixing it, but somehow I made it even worse. Now it's a, uh, well, it's a paper monster. Not exactly what I had in mind, but after 6 hours and a new brain, I finally got it working. Now the effect even changes based on speed. I'm not supposed to give my opinion, but uh, it looks pretty cool. But here's what's not so cool, the map's colors, I mean it's fine, but it could be way better. So I played around with some post-processing, threw in some dust and somehow made it worse. Wait, what? That wasn't supposed to happen. Let me just fix that real quick. What the fuck? Alright, alright, it's actually fixed now, so we can finally start making the trailer. First, I set up an opening scene with the plane flying by at a crazy speed. Then in the next scene, I show a close-up of the plane. Actually, you know what? Let's just skip to the final result. Much better, I even picked some epic music for it. And here come the enemy planes. Oh no, a missile missed. Just kidding, that was on purpose. These two extra white planes represent the other players. I don't know if that was clear, but okay, okay, I'll shut up. And that's the trailer. I hope you enjoyed it. Now we can move on to the screenshots. I could use the current desert map for all of them, but having 5 screenshots in the same map feels way too repetitive. So I came up with another plan. Yes, apparently I have lots of stupid plans. The final game will have at least 3 main map themes. Desert, Forest and Ocean. I want to show all of that on the Steam page, but right now I only have the desert map. So I created a forest map uh, without trees. Yeah, that's a bit weird. I will add trees eventually, but for now it will do. With these two maps I was able to create three screenshots. One in the desert, one in the forest 
and another one still in the forest, but mostly showing the sky and with a different plane. I still need two more screenshots though. I decided to use Blender to render the last two images, since I don't have an ocean map and I don't want to rush that part, so I set up a scene in Blender with three paper airplanes and honestly, I think it looks pretty cool. Here's the final result. For the last image, I wanted a close-up of a mid-air combat scene. Sure, it's not actual gameplay, but it still gives the idea of what the game is all about. Here's how it turned out. Not bad, right? I know it's not ideal to have rendered images instead of real in-game screenshots, but I'll swap them out for the real thing once I've got more content in the game. And now it's time for the image with the crazy explosion, also known as the capsule image. This is the one that pops up on Steam when you come across the game. My idea is to have a paper airplane launching a missile and, uh, well, I'll figure out the rest as I go. First, I added some smoke to the missile. I'm doing all of this in Blender, a powerful 3D software that lets you create photorealistic scenes, or basically anything you can imagine in 3D. I usually use it to make 3D models, but it's awesome for renders too. Anyway, I added some light coming off the missile to make it look more realistic. Now I just need to decide what else to put in the scene. I could add another paper airplane, like I did for one of the screenshots. Well, technically a fake screenshot, but honestly, I think an explosion is way cooler. Since I can't exactly create explosions myself, I found one online that's perfect for what I need. Here it is. Believe it or not, this explosion file is over 10 gigabytes. If you're wondering how much 10 gigabytes weigh, imagine a deer driving a car with a dolphin on top of that. Okay, okay, I'll stop. After some color correction and contrast adjustments, the 3D scene was ready to be rendered into a single 2D image, and here it is, after 7 hours. Yeah, it took a while to render, mostly because I cranked up the settings as high as possible. Probably didn't need to go that far, but hey, it's the Steam capsule. The image is ready, but we still need the logo. My first idea was to write Paper Wars and replace all the A's with little paper airplanes. But um, yeah, that looked pretty bad, so I scrapped that. Then the font fell off too, so I had to fix that as well. Eventually, I managed to make something I was happy with. I changed the color of the paper airplane a few times and settled on red, since it's a bit better at grabbing attention. I also chose a different frame of the explosion to make the image look more appealing, or at least uh, I think it does. The capsule image actually comes in a ton of different sizes for different parts of Steam, so I had to make one for each. I don't even remember how many sizes there are, I can only count up to four, so I'll just put them all on screen instead. But with that done, we finally have a Steam page. Oh right, I also made some GIFs. I haven't talked about those, but there's not much to say, except that they have explosions. And, uh, well, I do love explosions. Anyway, if you like the game and will consider playing it, you can wishlist it on Steam now. It will mean a lot to me if you did, I'll put the link in the description. And with that, the video is done. If you enjoyed it, you can click on this TV I stole from Steve to watch the previous episode of Creating Paper Wars, where I made the desert map you saw in this video. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.